Welcome to the presentation about California College of the Arts. In this video, we're going to go over CCA's history, faculty, alumni, and application process. Let's get started. CCA was established in 1907 in the Bay Area of Northern California as part of the historic arts and crafts movement. Taking this history with us, CCA's love for craft is partnered with a passion for concept, social responsibility, sustainability, and community engagement. You can see here pictures of CCA's historic Oakland campus. Our main campus is located in San Francisco. CCA has a wide range of programs, spanning from fine art, design, to the liberal arts. You can see here the 21 different majors at CCA. One thing to point out is that no matter your major, CCA encourages all students to have an interdisciplinary experience. What does this mean? This means that students are encouraged to take classes in other programs, challenging themselves and exploring new opportunities and collaborations. On top of that, we have five different minors to choose from in order to help specialize your interests. What's great about our minors is that you don't add any additional coursework to your schedule. Instead, you get to really focus on programs of study that interest you, such as ecological practices or the history of art and visual culture. CCA has always emphasized both theory and practice. This is what makes us different from a state school. You're spending more time in the studio and more time practicing your discipline. What distinguishes our first year program is our 40-60 split of studio time to humanities and science coursework. The first year program also allows you to explore and experiment in other disciplines before being fully immersed in your program. CCA is the only art and design college in the U.S. that requires undergraduate students to take studio practice and seminar coursework in critical ethnic studies. CCA also has a decolonial school, which is actively studying how colonization shows up in these fields and how to shape a non-oppressive future. Interdisciplinary making is an important part of the curriculum at CCA. Every undergraduate CCA student takes interdisciplinary studio courses their junior and senior year. These are advanced level studios where you engage in interdisciplinary practice. Meaning you'll learn more than just the discipline of your major. You'll get to explore how other modes of making or research can influence your own work. So what is life like on campus outside of the classroom? CCA is home to a community of practicing artists, designers, and makers who are constantly doing. Our students are passionate about creative work, social justice, and cultural transformation. Students are involved in many organizations, from academic clubs like 24 Frames, an animation resource club, Alpha Rho Chi, the architecture fraternity, and the Student Association of Illustration. There are also cultural organizations and affinity groups, including CCA India, Manos Abiertas, my China, Students of Color Coalition, and Trans Agenda. And of course, there are clubs for fun where you can meet friends who share your hobbies and interests. Things like Sustainability Club, Robotics Club, and Student Radio Club. We have a small student population which allows every student to explore the opportunities available. You can learn from experienced professionals. 95% of your faculty are working professionals who bring their expertise to the small class size and individualized mentorship. And according to Payscale's latest return on investment report for art schools, CCA provides the best values. Another benefit of attending an art and design school is that the making is happening everywhere. At CCA, we have more than 60 shops, studios, labs, printing services, and equipment checkout services available to students. Some of these spaces teach especially rare techniques like bronze casting or glass blowing. In fact, CCA is one of the few remaining art colleges in the United States that continues to operate a traditional foundry. CCA has an exciting announcement. We are currently in the process of expanding our San Francisco campus, fostering more of a residential community and building brand new studio and exhibition spaces. The first step in campus expansion was opening Founders Hall. At CCA, all freshmen and sophomore students are required to live on campus and will be placed in our brand new Founders Hall. Opened fall 2020, this residential hall is located across the street from the San Francisco campus. Founders Hall features a full service dining facility and CCA cafe on the ground floor. Open to all of CCA, this will be a great meeting point for the CCA community. Living in San Francisco is not just great because of the short commute to class. The Bay Area has a long history of being at the forefront of cultural, environmental, political, and social change. 
with access to so many world-class museums, cultural institutions, arts nonprofits, and literary presses, creative people have been drawn to the Bay. Many of them come with the desire to make a positive impact through their work, and they find the support they need here in the form of artist collectives, cutting-edge startups, exhibition opportunities, reading series, and more. Some of the renowned arts organizations, companies, and cultural institutions in the Bay Area include the Asian Art Museum, California Academy of Sciences, Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive, SF MoMA, Museum of the African Diaspora, Adobe, Google, and Pixar, just to name a few. Being in the Bay Area means CCA partners with industry leaders through classes where students collaborate on projects. An interior design studio at CCA partners with Autodesk Technology Center to explore the future of manufacturing and how to develop new materials using Autodesk's cutting edge software and equipment. CCA students made this mural for the main interior stairwell at the Children's Creativity Museum in the Yerba Buena Gardens as part of the Diversity Studies Mural Studio course. On Año Nuevo Island, the traditional beach habitats of endangered bird species beneath the sand are often crushed by sea lions. But don't worry, ceramics professor Nathan Lynch developed the Seabird Nest Program, where students create ceramic nesting modules to protect the birds incubating eggs and protect them from the changing environment. Industry partnerships also include internships at many of the companies you see listed here, all based or with offices in the San Francisco Bay Area. CCA's creative history and contemporary renown attract a diverse faculty who are expert practitioners and prestigious scholars in their fields. CCA's 8 to 1 student to faculty ratio allows them to give personalized critiques and deliver a hands-on approach that can take your work to the next level. Chris Johnson is the chair of the photography program. Chris moved to the West Coast as a teenager, originally to be a folk singer. But instead, he found a fascination with photography and the idea that seeing could itself be a creative process. He studied with legendary photographers, including Ansel Adams and Imogen Cunningham, before becoming a faculty member himself. Chris created the Question Bridge Project, an innovative transmedia project that documents the lives of Black men in America and facilitates a dialogue between Black men from diverse and contending backgrounds. Jeanette Kim is an assistant professor of architecture and the co-director of the Urban Works Agency, a research lab at CCA that studies architecture's impact on social justice issues, sustainability, and economic resilience in cities. Jeanette is the founding principal of the design practice All of the Above, where she designed the Pinterest headquarters. In her class, Jeanette worked with undergraduate CCA students to design climate change board games. The objective of making board games in class was to inspire discussions around development and land use decision making, while also helping young architects think outside of the box. Mia Fewer is an assistant professor in the sculpture program and a research-driven interdisciplinary sculptor. Mia's practice makes connections between our material dependency and the environmental impact this creates. At CCA, Mia teaches a studio course that investigates ways of making meaning using any medium imaginable. Materials in her sculpture dog sled include tar paper found outside an abandoned Arctic coal mine and petroleum trash collected from bodies of water, including the Arctic Sea. Studying at CCA isn't just about what you do in the studio. It's also about setting you up for your future. Not only are your teachers working professionals in their fields, CCA's career development team are practicing artists and designers who graduated with degrees in art. They understand the art and design school experience and can connect students to other expert practitioners. Career development at CCA is focused on helping students understand self-branding, entrepreneurship, and contemporary best practices for sharing their skill sets. One of the biggest events hosted by a career development department is the annual Career Expo. With more than 82 employers attending in 2019, the Career Expo is an opportunity to meet local and national creative industry leaders and make face-to-face -face connections with potential employers and partners. Plus, this is a great chance to network with alumni employed throughout the Bay Area. Students have connected to internships, part and full-time positions, freelance work, and more at the Career Expo. Here are some great CCA alumni putting their education into practice. Esther graduated from CCA's illustration program in 2019. 
Esther describes her work, which ranges from illustration to painting to furniture design, as a reaction to the disparate experiences of Middle Eastern culture in diaspora versus in the homeland. She aims to use her art to collect and portray the oral history of her family's experience as refugees. Danielle graduated from CCA's Interaction Design Program. She's the founder of Natives Rising, a website dedicated to promoting Native American role models and visibility in tech, which began as her CCA thesis and was influenced by her experience she gained during two internships at Facebook. As a product designer at Facebook, Danielle works on the company's connectivity team. Javon graduated from CCA's Writing and Literature program. Javon learned to use writing to promote social activism by participating in Oakland Unity, an event hosted by publisher Wolfman Books to raise money for Doctors Without Borders, and the community garden project, Slicker Farms. Galen graduated from CCA in 2018 with a BFA in Individualized Studies, a self-directed program that gives you the freedom to combine multiple disciplines. Queerness is an essential aspect of Galen's jewelry and metalsmithing practice. Their third sex series honors people whose queerness is distinct from sexuality. The next step is to apply. Visit cca.edu slash admissions to complete our online application or link to Common App. The application will include a personal essay so we can get to know you and learn why you want to come to CCA. Your high school transcripts, a letter of recommendation, and of course your portfolio of 10 to 15 pieces of artwork submitted via slide room. Now, the portfolio. First and foremost, your CCA portfolio should be a reflection of yourself. This is how we get to know who you are as an artist. At CCA, we look for experimentation, creativity, and risk-taking. We're hoping to see examples of this in 10 to 15 pieces of work in any medium of your choosing. You can visit cca.edu slash next to schedule a portfolio appointment. And if you want even more advice on your portfolio, you can attend virtual National Portfolio Days held throughout the fall. At these virtual events, you'll meet with representatives from hundreds of schools, including CCA, and you can receive helpful tips and feedback on your portfolio before you apply. At CCA, our financial aid department wants to help you succeed. We understand that looking at colleges and all those big price tags can be anxiety inducing. But get this, around 74% of CCA students are not paying full price. Being a small school, we're ready to walk you through the financial aid process one-on-one -on -one to make sure you get as much aid as possible. The idea of applying for financial aid can be stressful, but CCA keeps it simple. All you need to do is apply to CCA and fill out the FAFSA. Applying to CCA automatically qualifies you for merit-based scholarships. Merit-based scholarships mean that we look at your portfolio, personal essays, and transcripts and see that you would be a great addition to our community and want to help you get here. The FAFSA is a federal form that qualifies you for need-based and federal aid, including grants and loans. Need-based aid is just like it sounds. It's based off of your family's financial situation and sees what kind of financial help you may need. At CCA, we welcome and support all students. For undocumented students, we suggest you complete the California DREAM Act application for financial aid instead of a FAFSA. CCA offers a four-week summer pre-college program for sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Students have the opportunity to explore what it's like to be in an art school, build your portfolio, take studio courses for college credit, and live in student housing throughout the summer. September through January, we'll be taking part in National Portfolio Day events and college fairs around the country. So mark your calendars, and don't forget, February is the priority deadline for fall scholarship consideration. You can sign up for our mailing list by visiting cca.edu slash inquiry or scanning here. We'd love to hear from you, so please feel free to call, text, or email anytime and see what's next at cca.edu slash next. I hope this presentation has given you a sense of what life is like at CCA. So with that, thank you so much for listening and have a great day.